Have you ever wondered how cold it gets in the Arctic? In winter, the temperature can drop under minus 50 degrees Celsius. It must be freezing there. How do plants and animals get through the winter? In Greece, the moment it gets a little chilly, most mosquitoes die. So why are the Arctic organisms that cold resistant? Is there a difference between an Arctic and a Mediterranean cold? As a matter of fact, yes. There's a class of polypeptides called antifreeze proteins, or AFPs for short, and they can save this cod's life in its battle against the cold. But how do antifreeze proteins work? In the cold climate of the North Pole, ice crystals grow inside the bloodstream of fish. The AFPs minimize their growth, limiting it to manageable sizes and keeping the water liquid. They are able to do that because of threonine, an amino acid that binds with the water molecule. Antifreeze proteins also depress the freezing point of water by a few degrees. This is a process called thermal hysteresis. Thermal hysteresis protein is also another name for AFP. Each organism has a slightly different thermal hysteresis protein. For example, the polypeptides in fish help them to survive at minus 1.5 degrees, while the spas batworm has no problem at minus 30 degrees. There are also edible ones in your ice cream that are responsible for not letting the melting and refreezing of the product ruin its texture. It's not a big secret that humans are destroying the planet. Humans emit greenhouse gases, the temperature has risen about 1.5 degrees in the last century. And here comes another question. Since the Arctic ecosystem is warming up, Will AFPs be necessary for the survival of the organism, or will the plants, animals and microbes evolve and stop producing them? The aim of this experiment is to answer this question by taking samples of diatoms, which are some phytoplanktons from different beaches of Svalbard, and testing them for the presence of thermal hysteresis protein. So, let's summarize. Arctic is cold, AFPs are great guys, and temperature rise may be able to change the DNA of an organism. Thank you for watching this video and I sure hope it was an informative experience.